Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. Everybody's got one, the spaghetti drawer. Today I'm going to show you a fun way to organize this that involves your kids. First, you're going to organize the chords, and this is a great chance for you to talk to your kids about things like color, size, shape, and length. This piece right here has a big side and a small side. You can talk about the similarities and differences between these two chords. They're both white, but one is short and one is long. You can look at different colors. You've got white chords, you've got silvery metallic chords, you've got black chords. You can also do some investigative play, such as you've got uh, this set of chords, which looks a lot like this one, but what's the difference? Older kids get into the naming of chords. You can teach them, for instance, this is called a USB chord. And you can also look at the symbols. For instance, this is a USB symbol. It's, it's really tempting as a parent, the first time you're doing this, to kind of just take over and do it all and just show the kid. Actually, let the kid do the handling of the chords. You just step back and you guide him or her through it. Once you've separated all your chords, then you're going to coil them up. This is a thing that you probably have to do as a dad. You want to keep all the kinks out, coil them really neatly, and then have your uh, kid help you bind them. Some great ways to bind them are rubber bands, your daughter's hair scrunchies, maybe some of these twist ties from garbage bags, zip ties, and these are great. Make sure you get the reusable kind. Or finally, what I really love are these Velcro strips. Kids can actually manipulate these pretty easily Simply wrap it around and you are done. Final step, ask your kid, is this a big cord or a small cord? Does it go into a big Ziploc bag or a small Ziploc bag? And I say Ziploc, pretty important that you get the kind that actually have the zipper on them. Kids at this age are starting to develop their fine motor skills and this is great for their little pinching fingers. You want them to be able to pinch this and open it, drop your cord in, have the kid pinch it and close it again. Finally, take your Sharpie permanent marker. Keep this far away from your kid. Label it. Last thing you do, give it back to the kid. He or she has some ownership. Drop it back in the drawer. Well, that's it for Gear Daddy. And if you have any comments about this program or suggestions of things that you do with your kids, email me at geardaddy at dadlabs.com. And if I use your idea on the air, I'll send you some serious swag. We'll see you next week. This is a FireWire 800. It is really fast. That's a wrap.